Hello and good Tag to was on the Steilhagel. Today I'm flying my FNF here over the Norway map. This map, for my opinion, is pretty unfair because the Allies get an air start and the Germans don't. And most of the time they will end up below the Allies and I pretty much pray for them. Here in this game, it's a totally other situation. I ended up in a pretty bad team. Nearly all of my team um, is destroyed or died right now. And I'm heading back to base because someone called for help. And here we have the guys that maybe killed him. Two modern 90s. And let's find them. I think I will climb up some more. I picked up some nice energy, some speed um, during the shallow dive. And I don't want to lose it. So I climb up, do a zoom climb, flip over and coming back on top on the 190s. Um, I don't want to lose all my energy advantage over them. And I see that one of my last teammates is already on 190 and is fighting them, so I will support him. Okay, this may, will be a... I think I will good, have a good shot here. Let's see. And... What the fuck? I think my mouse is not working anymore. I think I have to buy a new one. I just pressed the button and nothing happened. Okay, so let's do another turn on them. And hopefully my teammate gets not shut down already. Uh, I think he can avoid the 190. Okay, he has now two on its tail. And I think I will take care of Whoever makes the first mistake. Oh, okay, over 600 kph. The barricade even turns bad, so always mind that. Stay below 600 when turn fighting. And this guy is making a mistake, and it's the Dora, and bingo, got him. Nice pilot kill. And we even took out the most dangerous opponent. And the A variant of the Walker Wolf should be a piece of cake now. I'm on a 6 now, and I don't think he will be able to shake me off. I have more power, I have more agility. It's a matter of time, and I think I will get him now. Come on, he don't shake so much. Yeah, I got his tail. Uh, yeah, he's going down. Okay, so rescued the Spitfire and avenged my teammate. There's a 109 incoming. He's, he's going for the Spitfire. It was a big mistake by this 109 pilot. He should have gone for me, because I was the guy with the most energy. And I already killed um, two of his teammates. So he should have realized that. He'd gone for me. But he went for the low and slow guy to ensure himself a kill. But I think now. This decision leads to an end of him. He won't be able to outrun me here down low at this altitude because my engine has at least enough power to catch up or even to stay on a 6. And I'm more agile than a 109 down here and at this speed. So I already damaged his wing pretty bad. And he won't be able to shake me off now. It's only a matter of time. Come on. And yeah, we got him. Pilot kill. And I was the last guy of the enemy team. Ensuring the victory here. Saving my teammate, the Spitfire teammate. I think he's still alive. And yeah, I hope you had fun. Guten Tag guys, I'm here on the Hokkaido map. Like 6 or 7 out of 10 times. You will get this map here. Um, the US king, the Brits. It's kind of the, the map I see the most these days when I fly the Brits or the American planes. And um, here I'm in my f 8 f and I'm flying against most of the time the Spitfires, especially the Griffin powered ones, like this guy here in this Mark 24. The Barricade can turn with the Spitfire if the speed is high enough. Between 400 to 500 km an hour, the Barricade gets very agile and the Spitfire loses a little bit of um, agility. So you are able to turn with him 
and that's why I'm hopefully able here to get a good deflection shot on this guy. I hit him. Okay. Uh, what is he doing? He's lining up perfectly, and yeah, that's ending up for him in a big fireball. I think it was a fuel or engine fire, and it will not go up very soon. I think he's done. So let's focus on the guy in front of me. Yeah, he's going down. I think he will burn down and hit the ground eventually. The guy in front of me, GXL, is already pursued. And it's an ace pilot. He uh, has the skill. So eventually he will run and run and run. I see a duck behind me, very high. I think I will break off the first two. He already has two on his tail. Yeah, I think we win this. We win this very, very big. Yeah, I think I will break off the pursuit and head back to support my teammates down low. Or I try to fight the guy who's high there behind me. Okay, let's go for this Houston guy there, the Spitfire. He may be critted by one of our teammates already. And I will take off a lot of speed here. The Bearcat can withstand a very high speed. And you can't even turn at high speed. Up above 3000 meters or 4000 meters, the engine, the radial engine, will lose a lot of power. So you won't be able to fight Spitfires and Tempests effectively. Down here, the engine power is very high, you can catch up, and you can't even turn with the Spitfires here. And this guy is coming right... No, he's avoiding. Would have been too nice, I guess. As you can see here, I'm at a very high speed, and you can even turn very nicely at high speed with the Bearcat without ripping its wings. Okay, where did this guy go? I was pursuing... I think he went into the clouds to avoid being seen and taken out. He's outmatched in number and in, uh, yeah, I would say, battle ranking. The Bearcat is better in engine power, not so much in firepower and agility, but if you are in, if you are outnumbered and a guy is on your six that can catch up, you can't run away really, so you have to fight. And you have to fight outnumbered, so I think that's why he's hiding in the clouds. But he still managed to crit one of our planes, the 190 of us, but critted by him. Okay, he's there. Let's turn around. Our 190 got taken out by him. He maybe was lucky to fight him in the clouds and had a quick shot at him, took him down. I will not stay in the clouds, I think. I, I will climb up a little bit to avoid getting surprised inside the clouds. And being above the clouds is always better to being below. So you won't get surprised by a plane that has more energy than yours. I'm still heading for the base of the last opponent because I think he will stay there and hopefully get support by the AA guns. Oh no, he's down there. Okay, he's fighting one of our F8Fs already. And I now have a very good energy advantage over him. I will boom down, hopefully kill him or crit him and zoom up and boom down again, if it's necessary. Yeah, I think I, would, I can hit him here. Not a crit, but I think two solid hits inside him. Let's zoom up. Okay, bad angle. Wait a little bit. Flip over and... Now, come down. And now I have a good angle to fight him. And I think I will get him here. Yes, get him, man. Oh, I was close. <laughs> I misjudged there a little bit my speed and nearly lost my life by taking out the last opponent. Nevertheless, we won the game. We won the game big. And I hope you had fun watching this. Do your best on the battlefield, guys, and I hope I see you next time. So have a nice day. Bye.